So this episode of Boku no Hero Academia, aka Boku no Go, aka Boku no Greatness, was freaking crazy. The villains are attacking, and the kids, the children, the students, they're actually helping because they're like, we, we can't wait for backup. If we just stay here, dazzle and stuff, doing nothing, the villains will kill us just to bring out All Might because um, that guy with the warping abilities, he did say, oh, maybe if I kill one or two of you, will All Might come then? Because their whole goal is to get All Might surrounded or something and kill him because it's a bunch of villains. And even All Might being the symbol of peace, being the number one hero, can he really survive an ambush from multiple villains with a lot of different quirks? I don't really know. All Might is really powerful, but you see that powerful because um, I believe it was Todoroki that said they have a goal and we figure out the goal is All Might. But they also, Midori is also thinking like, they have a way to kill All Might, so maybe it's not the surrounding of all the villains. Maybe they really have a strategy to kill All Might, like some secret weapon, some secret quirk. And All Might is just with the principal drinking tea and stuff, and the principal is just blabbering, blabbering on. And then it's like, <laughs> All Might is just chilling there because he really can't use his, um, his quirk right now. So I really have to highlight, all right, these are the scenes I'm going to highlight. When Aizawa, he just rushes in the battle and then Midoriya tells him, you're not good at, at these kind of battles. You're supposed to be like that sneak attack guy and stuff. And then Aizawa tells him, you, to be a hero, and be a pro hero, you got to have more than one trick up your sleeve. And he, Aizawa is a beast. He starts wrapping around a lot of villains, fighting them. He's outnumbered. One of them was about to punch him behind him. He dodges the attack without looking. I was like, damn, Aizawa is a pro hero and he's that powerful. And that was just really nice to see. And now he just has his hand busy. So it was just nice to see that this is what a pro hero is. A pro hero, he takes on many challenges, doesn't care if he's at a disadvantage. And he comes out on top and that's what Aizawa was doing. Um, 13, 13 is really overpowered and the thing is with 13, if he or she utilizes their quirk, it could really kill people, the villains, and you don't want to be a hero killing villains because that will put a, that will tarnish your hero name basically like, oh, you're a hero just killing villains, so what gives you the right to kill villains? And like the media will be outraged. And that's why he's being careful or she is being careful on using their powers, their current right now. So the last thing I want to highlight. No, I got two more things. The first thing, Todoroki over here is saying, oh, you guys are useless. How are you listening to a child? And he just freezes up. I'm like, and I'm here thinking, Todoroki, your quirk is overpowered. And Bakugo and somebody else is fighting. I forgot the other guy's name. But the main highlight of the episode, Midoriya. Mineta and Sue all together on a boat on the water and they're surrounded by villains and we learned Mineta's quirk um, he just has some balls that sticks to things and if he really wants it they stick for weeks and if he uses too much he bleeds and basically Midoriya and them form a plan Midoriya does Delaware smash with two of his fingers uh, impacts the impacts hits the water creating like a um, whirlpool and sucks all the villains in and then two of Midoriya's fingers are broken and then Minata's like I can't be used this starts grabbing the things off his head those black balls and throwing them in the water taking all the villains together so they can't get away from the trap that Midoriya laid and after that Sue says we clear the first hurdle there's a lot of villains still around which is true so um, I guess I gotta see what's gonna happen because Midoriya did lose two fingers, but hey, he has another hand to work with. Um, I gotta say that Mineta is a really hilarious character. It's like, oh, before I, I die, I want to touch Yao Yu so Yao Yao o Rosu's boobs or something. Yo, Mineta is hilarious. Like, this dude is just the comedy aspect of Boku no Hero Academia. And 
I respect that he threw the uh, his black ball curd thing at the end because he was bleeding. He did say if he uses too much, he starts to bleed. So he didn't care. Um, he wanted to he wanted to show, even though he was scared like Midoriya, he could do something, even though his quirk is not meant for battle. And the thing is with quirks, his quirk spe specifically, I want to say that his quirk, it, it is meant for battle. Like, for team battles, like, if he's like a team of three and stuff, um, uh, again, I'm going to make a Naruto reference, like a, a team, a group of three like right now, yes, if they come up with good plans, his quirk is definitely meant for battles. But later on, um, I think when they really master their quirks and they get stronger because I think I think as they grow older, the quirks will get stronger as well. I think um, Mineta's quirk will be really useful. Maybe maybe one of these days or something when he masters it, you could get one of these black balls and then make it gigantic. Then just throw it at a villain and they get stuck there and they can't really do anything. Overall, I'm going to give this episode 8 out of 10. It was a really great episode. In the comment section below, tell me what you thought about this episode. Was it good? Was it bad? And are you excited to see next week's episode when the battle commences and everybody's just fighting? Hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, remember to like the video to my channel, girl, and have a great day. Peace.